CNN News 18 organized the Indian of the Year 2023 yesterday. The IOTY Awards honored and recognized excellence from seven categories entertainment, business, sports, youth icon, rising sports star, and climate warriors. The event took place at Taj Palace in New Delhi, and this year, Bollywood's king Shah Rukh Khan was honored with the Indian of the Year Award. Gracing the ceremony with his presence, he mentioned that this was his first award in a long time. Let's take a look. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the one and only Shah Rukh Khan, the CNN News 18 Indian of the Year. May I also invite the jury members to please come up on stage to present Mr. Shah Rukh Khan with the award. Uh, Justice Indu Malhotra, uh, Anju Bobby George, Aproj Shah. Please come to the center of the stage. Before we present the award, I want to reiterate something that I said at the start of Indian of the Year, that the public polling for CNN News 18 Indian of the Year more than 1.5 lakh Indians voted for the one and only Shah Rukh Khan as the CNN News 18 Indian of the Year. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for the Bacha of Bollywood, the Pathan and the Jawan, the man who has smashed open the box office in 2023, the one and only Shah Rukh Khan. Sharuk, I believe you have an acceptance speech for us, so the podium is yours. Yeah. I'll finally figure this out, don't worry. Okay, so I, I just want to say, I'll, I'll take a little bit of a time, so please excuse me. You guys have sat so long, we've sat, met such wonderful people, such great achievers. Another few minutes. <clears throat> Normally when you get an award of this caliber, I guess the regular way, regular way of acceptance is uh, to first thank the organizers of this award and then show gratitude and a bit of humility and also thank the team behind uh, the work that has made you get this award. But I'm going to do none of it. <laughs> Honestly, I have two very good reasons for it. And if you have two very good minutes, I'd like to explain myself to you. It's been a bloody long time since I won an award now. <laughs> you know, I started believing now I was doomed or destined to win one of these what lifetime achievement awards at these loud and colorful TV award shows, which unfortunately I've also hosted lots of. And I really want to keep this award to myself, not share it with anyone at all. And the second reason is, you know, because I've had three highly successful films this year, super duper hits, show off, <laughs> little bit, why not, 1000 crore club and stuff, man, yeah. So there are thousands of people behind, some of them present here, like my friend Anirudh, who are responsible for this success. And, uh, to thank thousands of people will take a lot more than two minutes, so I'm not going to thank them either. The other thing is <coughs> that I believe that this award should be devoured by me. It should only be eaten by me. Because in the voice of Vikram Rathor from Javan, I am hungry. <laughs> and I've always been hungry. And I'm hungrier now with this award in my hand because there is no other way you can be if you want to keep on doling out entertainment year after year for 140 crore people for the last 33 plus years. And I'm also very impetuous, impulsive, like a modern actor should be, modernistic, futuristic, unbridled and innovative. So I just like to tell you how I sign my films at the spur of a moment. I hear a story and I say yes to it. I don't think about the box office. I don't think about... Should I be playing this character, even if it's vertically challenged? Should it be like larger than life? No, I just say, okay, I'll do this film. And then I keep awake all night because I'm futuristic. 
and wait. Wait for someone from future to come. And tell me, bro, this is a bad decision in the future. More often than not, nobody comes. So I wake up in the morning and in a jiffy, I've signed this film and I'm doing it. But going to bubbles bursting, the last four or five years have been a bit of a ride for me and my family. I'm sure some of you also, because of COVID and stuff. You know, most of my films flopped. A lot of specialists and analysts started writing my death knell. Some idiots did the same, which actually is the same thing, analysts and idiots. So it's not something that I really bother about. And then, at a personal level, a little bit of bothersome and unpleasant things also happen, to say the least. Which <coughs> made me learn a lesson. That be quiet. Be very quiet. And work hard. With dignity. And still know it in your heart. When you think that everything is good, suddenly out of nowhere, wham! Life may come and hit you. And topple your apple cart. But this is the time where you need to be the hopeful, happy, honest storyteller and continue doing whatever you're doing and kind of think this is an aberration, this is a nasty plot twist. It is not the story that you're living and 100% is not the story's end. Because somebody somewhere told me that life may filmo ki tarah, ant mein sab ho jata hai. और अगर ठीक ना हो तो वो अंत नहीं है पिक्चर अभी बाकी है मेरे दोस्त एंड आई बिलीव इन हिम बिकॉज आई बिलीव द गुडनेस बिगेट्स गुडनेस सो वेन आई गेट एन अवार्ड लाइक दिस वन आई एम रिमाइंडेड दैट आई शुड रिमेन द इटर्नल ऑप्टिमिस्ट एंड हैंग ऑन टू द सेल्फ बिलीव दैट आई एम द फास्टेस्ट लेगो मेकर इन द वर्ल्ड And I should play honest roles that give people courage to dream. I should keep working hard, quietly with the hope that the life doesn't topple my apple cart anytime soon. And yes, I should remain impulsive and impetuous. So I started differently, but impetuously I feel I should thank CNN News 18 for conferring me with this award. Thank you very much.